Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Sandman Talk. I'm your host, John, and this is Michael. Michael, say hello for the audience. Uh, hi, 50s radio TV host. <laughs> I sort of dug it. Did it sound good? I actually liked it, yeah. Wait, did I sound like that, though, or did I sound normal? Oh, you sounded normal, which is even oh. better. I can't add oh, sound effects to your voice. I mean, like, I Dude, could... we're, we're just not... We don't have that technology yet. Yeah, it's not out there. Anyone who claims it does, you're, you're flat earthers, too. You think <laughs> the earth is flat and global warming's not real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, this is a show where we just, I mean... We just talk about your problems and try and help you figure it out. Remember, and most of the time we probably make them worse. Yeah, <laughs> truly. And remember, we're not. You know, it's funny, dude. My dad actually was like, "Son, can, can I talk to you for a moment?" I was like, "What's going on?" He's like, "Watch Sandman talks today." And I was like, "Whoa, Dad! You don't watch any of my YouTube videos." He's like, <laughs> which, "I watch." Which one did he watch? He watched the, I think, the depression one, and okay. he was super worried. He's like, "Listen, I, I know, um, you know." Your community like looks up to you and, and Mike as well, but like I'm really worried. You're giving like advice to people who sometimes oh. might need like <laughs> yeah, who might need like professional, ad, professional help. And I was like, Dad, listen, we always say in every episode that we are not professionals. This is based off our lives and the things we've learned. Obviously, yeah. people know that. And, and, and I feel like he's just he's a little good. more old school, right? Like so that's right. like wait. well, like he he's smart about it. Like he's he's he, he doesn't want me getting in trouble worry about it. Well, right. John told me I could just ask her out. It wasn't creepy, <laughs> 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 sir. You broke into her room. Yeah, John, oh, said, so. John said so. He said in the Sandman <laughs> Talks episode four. Is like it's not my show, so I'm technically like <laughs> you're completely good. innocent. You're completely. They don't even know who you are. You're just Mike. Yeah, Here's exactly. Mike. That's how I like to be. Because then I can just be like, no, you know, you should totally just go paintball her car, dude. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? It's John's show. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Today, today we are talking about um, how can I get out of the friend zone? That is all I've read so far. Um, that is from, uh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say their name. But uh, yeah, we'll read it right here. It's, it's talking about getting out of a friend. Are you down to talk about friends? And I know there's so many people watching right now, and they're like, oh, dude, I'm in the friend zone. So listen up. Listen up, chat. And if you're not in the friend zone, then you probably will be eventually. All right. Yeah. I actually don't believe in the friend zone, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> you don't believe in the friend zone? All right, do the question first. All right, all right, I can't right, get right, into this topic. You're, you're right. You're right. You're, we're going to dive in in a moment. All right. <clears throat> Hello, Mike and John. My name is Reese. Hey, Correct. look at that. I am a part of this show, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you are, dude. I don't film this without you, man. I really don't. I was planning on you just being a guest one day, and it was just so much fun that I keep hitting you up. I, I'm oh, my so... God, dude. I get 50% of your channel now, don't yeah, I? It's, it's all yeah, yours. my lawyers will be hitting you up, dude. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Hello, Mike and John. My name is Reese. Currently, I'm 15, going into 10th grade. I, have, I've ha I haven't had a girlfriend in two years. I know I don't need one. But some, uh, but I need someone to motivate me and hang out with me and listen to me as everyone needs this. Although countless times there's been many girls that friend zone me. Many I really like and I would love to start a relationship with. As you might have guessed it though, I get friend zoned. Hmm. I am short, 5'3 in fact, which is shorter than most guys, but usually the girls I like, I am taller than. It's kind of an understandable Thing that they might want a six foot guy just because society chucks them up to be so great. <laughs> oh man, yeah, but, I, be... <laughs> but I don't know if it's my personality or what. I do usually try to become their friend first, as it would be kind of weird to come up to them and ask them out. But every time I become their friend, they see me as their little brother. I'm not sure I'm a class clown, but can be serious when needed. Oh, he is a class clown, but can be serious when needed. I play soccer and practice most days. I don't think I'm ugly nor repulsive. I don't think I have a bad personality either. I think I found someone I really like though. Her name is Melissa. Not really. She is very smart. I mean, I think <laughs> her name's not actually Melissa. Like, whoa, dude. <laughs> Can't give away Melissa all the Melissa Johnson from <laughs> San Diego. <laughs> Living at 4319. <laughs> Here's her phone number, guys. Yeah. No, no, no. Stop it. Stop it, Reese. Um, all right. Um, she's very smart cool, chill, and just an all-around good person. 
I love being around her and we have similar tastes in music and such. I don't have a car yet, which I'm kind of waiting. Dude, you're 15. You better not have a car yet. <laughs> I don't which have I'm, a car yet. I, I, Do you have your license? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> you don't even have your permit till 15 and a half, I'm pretty sure. I'm 12, but I and I don't have a house yet, I, I, but hopefully I, next year. <laughs> I don't have a car yet, which I'm kind of waiting for, uh, so I could drive whoever I dated anywhere I want. Although, that will be another year, and I want someone who's there for me, and I want to be with this girl. But she likes other guys, usually older, because they have cars. She is not a hoe or anything. Oh, this is so young. I love it. Ooh, She's not God, a hoe yeah. or anything. This is going to be some... I'm going to have brutal advice, dude. Well, you know what's beautiful about this, though? There's... I, I think there's, like, 20 other messages like this in the inbox, and this one just got Yeah, chosen. I can see this being a very common So it's very common. Like, so we'll, we'll relate it to older and younger. Uh, I just think she's attracted yeah. to people that are able to drive around so she can hang out with them, having a schedule of time, which is understandable. Uh, I've liked her for a while now, two years, and I've been mm -hmm. dodging her questions if I do. I know... I know that I could just tell her right now, but the guys, I really don't want to mess up our friendship without doing anything. She actually likes me, as I really do like her as a friend a lot, actually. Um, hmm. uh, but I would be closer. We're almost done. So I'm asking you guys to help me out. I don't know how to get her to see me like that. Or maybe she does. Although she's told me that she doesn't. <laughs> but I mean, she could just be saying that because she's nervous. I, I don't think so, though. Should I wait until I have a car so I actually can hang out with her, having a schedule or something? Or should I just wait until we're vibing and tell her? Or is there a way to tell her if she likes me? Please help me, you guys. Sincerely, Reese. <laughs> P.S. I know I don't need a girlfriend, but I want one. I'm not trying to rush anything. I've liked her. Yeah, for like, obviously, that would be the easy advice for us to be like, hey, man, you don't need a girlfriend. Boom, done. Yeah. But, like, I think we'll, we'll try oh, we're gonna, to add oh, more to that. I have so much to say, Mike. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like we've been kind of on the same page for most of these. Yeah. I, I want to be, like, this time I want to just be brutal and, like, like this this guy, this 15-year-old is about to get doses of life. It's not going to sound good. It's not going to be nice, Mike. Yeah. But I'm going to give you things that I wish, like, somebody told me when I was 15. And this is going to be very... Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything in this Sandman talks. Yeah. This yeah. is going to be... Just don't get me sued. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, yeah. Like I said, I can't get sued, so... <laughs> yeah, I know. See? All right. Go ahead. Lay it out. Yeah. Start us off. Start us off. Because I might mm, I might agree okay. with you on part of it. I, I don't know. You yeah. Seem... Yeah. Like, I... Because personally, like I said, hated, I don't buddy. believe in the friend zone. I really don't. I yeah. think the friend zone is made up. I think it's like... Oh, if a girl doesn't like you and is friends with you, you're not you're not in the friend zone. There's no such thing as a zone that like you're stuck in. That girl tomorrow can have her loins aching for you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. she can not even want to be friends with you tomorrow. Like anything can happen. It's right. Just, does the girl want to have a relationship with you or not? Right. Because um, I know personally that I have been like, oh, I don't really see her in that way. Like she's she's pretty very sweet girl but like i don't i don't look at her and then right literally action can like dude, be not there a month later i'm like i i had like a dream or something and i'm like god she is so hot <laughs> like i want she's hot her in your dream or I, she's hot, oh like, dude you just realize you it. it's a realization of like you know it's i you know it just came out of nowhere i just was like wow you are actually like someone i'm interested in <laughs> i never knew I never knew. It was like, I well, always saw How did you like, what would you just be? A, hey, I had a dream so, about you. It turns out I like you. Well, that's what's the crazy thing is like that actually happened to me in high school was I, 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 there was this girl who was just always a friend. I grew up with her being a friend, never looked at her differently. And I had this one dream where we just literally were making out. Right. And it was just a dream. <laughs> and I know yeah. it's so, it's such a, a high school thing. And yeah. as soon as I woke up, I was like, yo, I need to, I need to date her. <laughs> Like, I oh need to date God. her. And by the time... I almost had the opposite thing happen, too. But like, really? You, I, yeah, no, yeah, I mean... Well, I had a girl one time text me, and she was like, hey, you were in my dream last night. Didn't have her number or anything. I was like, uh, who is this? And, you know, she tells me her name and stuff. Girl I've never talked to in my entire life, but she went to my high school. A week later, <laughs> after just texting her, yeah, because she, she said she dreamed about me, she's like, hey, it'd be really funny if, like, we were in a relationship on Facebook, wouldn't it? I was like, uh, yeah, I guess, or whatever. You know, I was like 14. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're in a we're in a relationship. It was so fake. Like two weeks later, I guess I made some joke about her, and her friend came up, and she's like, "Yeah, you guys are broken up." Oh, like, you got the friend breakup. Yeah, nice. I, I had never said one <laughs> word to her in person. That's the weird part. Yeah, but that's why, like why I felt a little creepy about it. it. Was like not creepy. She was a friend of mine, so it was very easy. Mm -hmm. But as soon yeah. as I, I had shown like sometimes 
uh, it doesn't match up. Whether there's a friend zone or not, you know, if there's no, sometimes you just don't like someone when they like you and vice versa. I went like, you know, my entire life with uh, this person who like I liked and then like, but she had a boyfriend and then she wasn't really into me as like just only a friend. And then she liked me, but I had a girlfriend I just, and it never worked out and it's okay, but we were still friends and, and we went back and forth through these feelings. So I don't, dude, yeah. Reese or uh, Reese, right? Yeah. Reese to start it off, man. I sort of agree with Mike. There, there really isn't a friend zone. There's, yeah, and and like there, there's the way of looking at it, like you said, John, like where things just aren't working out, but she might like you or whatever. And then there's like the brutal reality of it, like maybe she's not attracted to you. You can either a go, oh man, like screw this girl, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find some other one, or you can be like, okay, what can I improve? Like he's talking about how he doesn't have a car, and I but guess I, I can understand. That's what not he's it. Saying. That's not it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, true. true like true. I, I, I think, think it is I think Reese, you you were very honest to yourself in the message, <clears> even though it was like a little all over the place. But like. I think you were looking for excuses why she doesn't like you when the the, yeah. the true reality of it is what it seems like she just isn't into you man and that's okay there's so many girls out there and she if she's a good friend of yours that's awesome keep that friendship value it grow that friendship and that friendship one day could spark into something but i don't think like like okay so here's the problem with friend zone and that whole thing is you usually are like it drives you crazy so you can't be friends with them because you're just like exactly I what I was want, gonna say, yeah. right? I want. I, I was gonna give that opposite end. Like, it, if she's not interested in you, I wouldn't hang. Like, again, I just wish someone would have told this to 15 year old me. You don't necessarily want to spend all your time with this girl who is not attracted to you, only to have her date, you know, Aaron, who's like running back on the football team, who's six foot three. And then have her be like, oh yeah, like me and Aaron are going to the movies, and like, oh, and you're like, like okay. taking them to the movies. That weird friend. That yeah, like you're the third wheel who like thinks, yeah, which sucks. Thinks which Aaron's destroys gonna destroys your confidence. And like Aaron, like dumps her for a day, and like she cries on your shoulder, and you're like, oh my god, this is my end. Yeah, don't no. be that guy. No, Do no, not be it's that not guy. your end. So, oh, it's so demoralizing too. Like, it's sad. Dude, it's I've, a horrible feeling. It is, but like every single day we see guys like this. I at least I do. Oh I God, honestly, dude. I'm going to be brutally honest. I, when I was like in middle school and high school, I think I was that guy. Like I, okay, I in, in middle school, you can get a pass. Like nobody <laughs> is their, themselves. In I mean, middle school. It, it, like, it's you know. okay. It's okay to be that guy. And I get it. It's good to have good friendships. It's good to find those friendships and grow them and have that. But you have to like, I think you took the, you know, Reese, you, you see it. She, she, she's not, you, you know, she's very smart, cool, chill. But I, I can promise you, man, you're gonna find someone else who's smart, cool, and chill, yeah, and doesn't like mind look at a shorter dude. And you're only 15, by the way, bro. I grew a bunch when I like was when I turned 16, 17. I grew. That's like when I grew. I think I was like five, six, five, five my whole life, and then like, dude, high school like got to like five nine, like out of that's nowhere. That's actually awesome. Yeah, it was I, it was awesome. I really ninth grade to tenth grade. Like yeah, you were always just ripped. I, I hit 5'11", like, my sophomore year, and I was like, oh, this is great. I'm going to be, like, 6'2", you know? And then, like, next five years, it's like, oh, 5'11". Five, five All right. All right. <laughs> just, just stops right before six feet. Yeah. But also he said here, which was interesting, um, uh, I've liked her for a while now, for two years, uh, and I've been dodging, long time. dodging her questions if I do. I know that I could just tell her right now, but guys, I really don't want to mess up our friendship without doing anything to see if she actually likes me. So yeah, this is too innocent for me, dude. I just want to like, I want to take him under my wing and be like, dude, ugh, ugh. Mike, 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 you have 20 seconds. Be really bluntly straight up with Reese. Okay, I'm gonna be really blunt, dude. Like, you you don't want to be the guy that is always wondering if like girls are gonna like him. You can be like, oh, you know, you want a relationship, but screw that, dude. You're 15. You gotta learn what girls are into. Become a better version of yourself work out become attractive dress nicely get talents things that girls like and then just watch the girls come at you okay you need to get like a bunch of girls liking you wanting you to like they want you to date them and then this girl will probably be like oh my god like high school girls are very simple man they're very simple a bunch of other like her friends like you she's gonna like you and in high school i wish i didn't worry about getting like a girlfriend and i was just like Psh, 
if she likes me, she likes me. If not, whatever. I think the biggest thing too, like even more than like, obviously there's the uh, physical, you can work out, you can like bring that up. You know, you can, your talents, you can really work on the things that you're really good at and improve on those and get, I think the biggest thing though, man, is confidence. I say it all the time. Oh, yeah. And as a 15 year old, it's almost impossible to understand that confidence is one of the most beautiful or sexy or whatever kind of things on anyone, guy, girl, everything yeah. in between. It doesn't matter. Like, confidence. But like, it's very hard to fake it. Oh, you can't so just, hard. Because then you you're like a douchebag. You can't go up the next day and be like, hey, yeah, then you're just cocky. But like, uh, when you work on yourself and you do all these things that make yourself better, then like the confidence just naturally comes. Yeah, like, you I've feel good about yourself? Yeah. Week. Yeah. Yeah. The 15, dude, is the good time to start working out, too. Yeah. Because then, like, by college, people are going to be like, damn, I wish I wish I was like Reese, man. Like, why wasn't I lifting at 15? Well, that's what I always Reese say about YouTube, college, dude. dude. I'm always like, damn, I wish I got on YouTube when I was yeah. 19. Oh God, you see all these, right? like, 21-year-old YouTubers who are like, boom. They've been doing it for, like, five. <laughs> yeah, they've been doing it for, like, five, six, seven years. And you're like, I know. why didn't I find out about it then? Uh, right. But there's a bunch of those things besides, you know, like, just, you know, working out is a great one. Um, but all these things to boost your confidence, boost how you feel about yourself. So when you are out in the world, you are, <laughs> this is going to sound really stupid. And Mike, I don't even know if you've seen it. There is this show on Netflix called Queer Eye. Okay. Mm, I've heard of it. Okay. Okay. It used to be called Queer Eye for the straight guy. And Queer yeah, Eye that. is a, it's like five gay guys who go to like random towns and make people over and like give them that confidence boost. And this show, awesome. dude, this <laughs> It's like extreme show, makeover yes, but, person edition. But, and it, yeah, exactly. But this show, I mean, they do everyone from, I mean, uh, crazy, like uh, the left side, the right side, you know, uh, they go like political on it. They get like, it doesn't matter who the person is. They make them over. They teach them these like, they they just encourage like people. Like how to be attractive, basically, yes, right? Yes, that's all it is. Dude, it's that's how, awesome. And, how and they, not seen They this? encourage people. Dude, it'll change your, I'm not even kidding. It'll change the way you walk outside. It's like, yeah, you can walk outside and just be in your like baggy old clothes and stuff. Why don't you look nice so you feel nice so the world yeah, gives no, you that I'm energy. All, I'm all about that. Dude. Yeah. Like, I believe that like, I always learned from uh, like my grandparents and stuff. They said like, wake up in the morning and just like make your bed. Just like, no matter how bad your day is or whatever, like you got a made bed, you already accomplished something. Like look nice, like shoulders back, good posture, no matter who you're talking to, yeah. always maintain eye contact. Like doing these little things in your day-to-day -day life, you'll all of a sudden realize people around you are like respecting you. And then it just leads into confidence, which leads into basically getting any girl you want. <laughs> even if you're five foot three, man, like I, girls obviously are always gonna want taller guys. And like even I, you know, I'm five eleven and I feel short because like yeah. unless you're like six two or six three, yeah. And you always honestly, be more. God, dude, I I there, a confident short, a confident short dude, versus a, at like non confident just whatever tall dude. Confidence yeah, will confidence always win. Is period. Because period. why would a girl want to be with somebody who like humor isn't even oh, sure dude. if you know anyone should be with him? Yeah, I mean humor goes a long way. Confidence just being. Yeah. The best yeah. possible version of yourself. And it doesn't matter if you're someone who is way different. Oh, man, I have crazy allergies and I have depression and all this stuff. Okay, but be the best version of yourself. And just like the I top dog like, guy, be the best version yeah, of yourself. And that that's the best way to answer his question, too. Because like he's he's going, how do, how do I get out of the friend zone? Which to me just sounds like, how can I get this girl, right? Yeah. He's not attracted. Yeah, anymore. let's break it down. There it is. It, yeah, as simple as possibly. Like, you just need to become more attractive until she's attracted to you. It might not happen, but if it's going to happen, the only way to get there is to make yourself more attractive. Yep. And that can be, you know, you can be smart, you can be funny, you can be confident, you can be strong, you can be just very good looking, well dressed. Also There's a 15, number of things that make dude. a person attractive. You are 15. You are in this, like, listen, if you're 15 and you're listening to this right now, just know. You are, I'm, I'm, I'm almost double your age. I'm 29 years old. So I have a little bit of wisdom. I can promise you, you are in this, you are in literally the, the craziest age that I think I've ever experienced. 15 was where everything yeah, was like, gnarly, do I do dude. this? I, yes or no. Uh, what, what yeah. girls? Yes or no. Every, your hormones are raging. Your, 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 mm -hmm. your, your school you is getting tougher. With, like, you fall in love with everyone. You yeah. You, it's yeah. just everything's popping off so don't feel out of place 
this is totally normal. It's crazy as can be. I, know. I was a loser in high school, dude. I like I'm talking. I wish somebody would have told me this because I had bad haircut. I was super skinny, like just in general, I had like very little attractive qualities. But now going up, it's like, you know, I, I'm in the gym and like people are like, dude, you don't even look anything like yourself. And it's just like weird to me because I, you know, I should have done this when I was 15. Yeah. But there's I mean still time. <laughs> still... If you're like 20 and you're like, oh man, I'm and not and for me, like I don't even, <laughs> I don't work out personally. I do have a wife, which is well, awesome. you're married. I, so. I'm married, so I'm good. Uh, I'm off the market. You should still work out. But I do. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I do work out, but I wanted to say, like, I don't do the mic workout. I'm not like, you know, going to the gym five to seven days a week. I'm not like I. I just run. I just take care of myself to feel better about myself to put that into the world and get that energy back. Right. Yeah. Being I mean, productive, look, being productive. Like yeah. I, I concentrate a lot on my job and like what I, you know, you've even taken a step back from YouTube a bit to really put your mind and your like body yeah. into working out. And like the, the best way of explaining it is like, I'm so focused into bettering myself that like, if I take time off of YouTube, which is obviously bad to better myself, it can only produce better content in the future. Exactly. So when you're 15, better yourself and the future only better things can come yeah. and it's not too young like screw that dude everyone's gonna be like oh you're only 15 like don't worry about it have fun like nah like the world is a horrible place if you're if you're not ready for it like at 15 i wish i was getting ready for it yeah Maybe i'm just kind of jaded but like <laughs> dude, it's know, a, dude like it's okay it's it's, it's okay. It's gonna be okay, Mike. <laughs> Is it gonna be? I'm gonna be the next guy, like sending a question in. Like, hey, John, I've been on your show a few times. Just wondering, how do uh, I become happy? <laughs> oh man, so friend zone, not really a real thing. But question, Mike, like, what if he really thinks, like, okay, so say she never. Okay, here's the problem, Reese. Is she said she was not interested, which is a pretty, uh, you know bold thing she might just be saying that she really could. She that, could yeah that almost summarizes it to like i feel like your question shouldn't be how to get out of the friend zone if she told you she's not attracted to you your question should have been how do i get over a girl and move on to somebody else yeah because that's that's do more... i keep her my friend or do i just like say bye-bye nah nah like, i mean yeah you'd be casual friends don't be like a dick to her like you don't have to be mean to her or ignore her yeah. if she talks to you but like don't go out of your way but what's weird to Dude, me is she's I like i was friends with girls though like that though now i think about i because you mentioned that you might have been that guy i remember girls that had boyfriends and i was that guy that they complained about oh. they were like mm, I, my boyfriend's been mean to me today and I was you like, were the oh, mean boyfriend stupid. No, oh no, 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 no you no. were the one like, getting okay the, i was the one texting him back being like oh that's so he should be nicer to you he doesn't know what he has girls do not want to be with guys like that you might think they do but at the end of the day like they're girls want to be no no, no 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 take that back a little bit girls want to yeah. be friends with guys like that right 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 they don't want to like be in a relationship with the so, guy that's yeah like exactly they're like your boyfriend is so mean be the guy that's being the mean boyfriend <laughs> no <Don't be the, laughs> no no <laughs> no don't be the mean boyfriend guy uh, but just like, yeah, I think you're right in the sense of like, that is, it's so hard because I was, you know, I was that guy. So I, I get it. I get what he's going through, but I, right. I think she's given you very clear things that are, are like, Hey, I'm not interested in you like that, but I don't get why she's asking, or maybe this is like in Reese's head. I don't know why she's asking you what you feel and you're not telling her. I, I get that. I don't even think it's in his head. I, I know girls that aren't interested in guys, but, but they, they want still interest. want the guys. Yeah, because girls love attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's guys that love attention too, but girls like are very, yeah. they would love a guy. 15? Get, I, oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. She would love a, like every boy in her class. And she's like dating the 17 year old, the senior. Oh, yeah, like, trust me. Yeah. She's all about it. She wants to feel like everyone's got a crush on her because it'll pattern it feels good you dude you don't want to be that guy when everyone like likes you that's a great feeling right so oh, yeah so why yeah. not why not stockpile but dude i i think you i think you know what to do reese i think i think like if you want to be straight up with her like if you're you're scared of hurting a friendship that like i don't even think you want <laughs> it, it sounds like yeah, from no. this this letter that you you really just either want her to be your girlfriend in the future or soon and or you don't know what to do so i make you can make the bold move of being like hey i'm gonna be straight up i really like you and i i want to date you like or like you know you could be like very bold with it and like 
is, is that going to happen? Mm -hmm. And if she's like, no, all right, you leave it. Hey, have a good one. Well, yeah, I'll hit you up on Friday for sure. We'll, we'll talk about math homework. And then right, just yeah. go get your heart. Out. I mean, two years you've been on this, 13 to 15. Brother, like you, you, you got... You got more hearts to, to fall in love with because you're so, yeah. so, and I I know you hate hearing that too. You're so young. You got so many things to experience, but it's so true. You know, and the, like the cooler way of putting it is like, dude, you got a lot of girls. You got to bang. And then like, <laughs> that's the mic. You know, like 15, maybe not like wait, wait a little wait bit. A, wait, please. To, but like, please be safe, safe sex, please. Um, <laughs> Conversation for another time. Yes, definitely. That could be another, another question. Um, but Bro, I'm I, trying to find a picture of me from high school just so I can prove how like how oh dude I will nerdy I bro was. if you send me it I will put it on the screen right now okay for, yeah let yeah see. send it to me because I'll put mine up and these are the guys you're literally it please you gotta send me a picture these are the guys yeah, I'm going to who are telling you this we I if you look at me I look like Justin Bieber I started the hair first uh you I look fantastic hair dude. It was, it was, it was, oh my god but it didn't here's the thing the reason i grew up and and always did pretty well with the ladies and always like had great relationships was straight personality was just my confidence i thought i thought yeah. i was the shit when i wasn't i wasn't cocky or anything but i always thought i was like oh i'm in theater i'm like the best actor i'm the oh man i'm this you know this kid who can do it all like that's why people were attracted to that they were attracted to like the confidence and oh, i got a good one dude I yes! got a good one that like goes along with it or else. oh dude this, the pictures are on the screen so tell us about <sighs> tell us about old right. mike <laughs> so uh yeah this was probably a picture that was taken um when i was trying to impress girls and i let them right on my arm like oh, whatever they yeah. wanted because i just wanted to be like the cool Touch. guy that just yeah. you know and these girls had boyfriends and uh yeah, now I just need to track it down again. Um, hmm. <laughs> I love this. Dude. I love, I lo you know what I love about these uh, Sandman talk? You guys help me more than you. Like, it, I, it just I brings <laughs> me back. I just think about like, the memories and like actually trying to like think about these things that happened to me. Uh, and remember, what we say is not always fully correct. It's just little words of advice that that might help you out. But we've been through it. We've been so through we it. Know. Yeah, we do. All right. Know. So here's look. This is me in high school, just like trying to impress. Oh, you're girls. sending it to me. The, the girls in oh, are on my. my arm, and they even put and dick. <laughs> I love K L M G. Oh, there's another one of me. Just do you have a Capri less... Sun in your hand? Uh, dude, that's a Capri Sun. Yeah. Bro, you're totally. Slurping down a Capri Sun. Yeah, man. Look, yeah. This is me even in my like We would have hung this out. This is like college and I'm just a nerd there in that yeah. on the left. We would have hung out, man. That's okay. Hey man. Nerds nerds can nerds can roam there yeah. too. I'm still yeah. a nerd. You're still a nerd at heart though, bro. Oh, I'm still a, I'm still a nerd. I just don't look like one. <laughs> Love that. You know, now I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at those bodies. <laughs> Dude, I'm posting all these pictures, by the way. Do not delete these off the Discord. I'm posting all of these in the episode. The one uh, that I posted on my Instagram, dude. Oh, my God. I forgot about the picture on the left of this. Look at me. Yes. Uh, that's what working out will do to you. So, I mean, but, like, dude, that's, like, what? We're talking, like, eight years of life. Yeah. But you I know? was that guy on the left going, like, oh, I want to be friends with girls and think, man, just get in the gym, make big, like, get attractive, and they'll come. They'll yeah. come. Yeah, or or work on your talents and your yeah 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 uh, talents anything that makes yourself better attractive. better yourself and go if, literally I want everyone this is not hashtag ad not sell up go watch Queer Eye it is so dude I'm actually like, it sounds awesome it, it is so um yeah I I promise you after watching it you will get this feeling of like let's go like let's go like there's two seasons out now like you will feel just better about yourself. Uh, even after the first episode, you'll be like, wow, that's really cool. Uh, and it's really beautiful and really awesome. And this is a great talk. Seriously, Reese, thank you for bringing this up. I hope we helped. Is there any last, like, kind of, like did we cover friend zoning and getting friend zoned? Yeah, like the friend zone doesn't exist. Yep. Anyone in the comments that is, like, talking about being friend zoned, you just, you need a little reality check. Trust me on this. Trust Daddy Mike. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. What else do we need to cover? I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, we have no updates from last week. Please, guys, the uh, the email is in the description if you have any questions. Uh, just make sure the title is pretty much 
the problem you're having. That always helps me uh, weed through them because I see a lot I of just, the same ones. Um, and I a feel lot like uh, I'm realizing that in every single Sandman talks, I'm just like, yeah, no, go to the gym. Like, <laughs> like I'm but, really overdoing it. We're gonna get one that's like, hey, John, like. I've got cancer. I need to get my things in order. No, just go to the gym. Go man. to the gym, like, dude. Work it out. <laughs> and people are gonna start realizing, like, wait, Mike, Mike's a robot. <laughs> He's just, yeah. He answers the same <laughs> thing every time. No, Tell dude. Them, I just lost my legs. No, go to the gym. Go man. to the gym, dude. Uh, but that, but here's the th cool thing, Mike. You and I are very different in a sense, but we're like, you know, good friends. But like, we're very mm -hmm. different, so we bring, oh yeah, different ideas to each scenario. Right? Yeah, that's so, true. I mean, we got like a Midwest, like Midwest you are, kid. Yeah, I'm like Cali a L.A. Kid. Cali kid. Yeah, uh, and like differ, different lives, different. Totally. Yeah, that's good though. But we actually, did you grow up? Did you grow up things. like? Did you grow up uh like middle class, low class? Like you know? Oh no, no, yeah. My my parents were definitely at least middle class. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I grew yeah. up pretty middle class too. So yeah, right. I was not like low class or anything. Yeah. Well, it's, it's pretty t like here. My dad would be like very high class. Yeah. I would say. In LA, we'd probably be like low end middle class. <laughs> right, right, right. It's all, it's all debatable, you know, where you are. But thank you guys yeah. so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. It's been a blast. And uh, hopefully, my Rocket League gameplay today was spot on. <laughs> like it has been the past couple of seven talks. Well, uh, yeah, when you can just keep playing until you have good gameplay. <laughs> no, no, it's all connected. I don't, I don't end the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just oh do it all God. in one. Yo, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon. Peace.